In this video, we're going to look at balancing chemical equations and what that means. And we'll start off with the, the making of ammonia. And this is ammonia, and it comes together from nitrogen and hydrogen. And as we saw in the FET simulation, these elements, when they have, when we have nitrogen, it's not just N, it's N2. And when we breathe nitrogen, we breathe in N2. So when we make certain things, they have to be in the form that we find them in. And for instance, N2, so I'm going to put two Ns because it has a two after it. So two Ns, and I'm going to put this in a bubble. And that just kind of represents N2. I know it has bonds and everything, but for our sake, we're just going to put them in a bubble to, to show that it's together. H2 is also in a bubble, so I have two H's. That's in a bubble. And then NH3 is all together. And there's because there's no number after this, there's an N, and there's three H's. I'm also going to split it down the middle here, well, down the arrow. And I'm going to keep track of the atoms that I have. So the N's, right now I have one. The H's here, I have three. But on the left side, I have two N's and two H's. Well, the law of conservation of matter tells us that they have to be the same. We can't have different numbers of each thing. I can't start with two and then go down to one. I can't start with two and go down to up to three. Whatever I start with, I have to end with. And so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing what we call the balancing step. And if I look at this right here, so I have N here, one. I need more Ns on this side. But the thing is, I can't just add an N by itself because it's this is NH3. The whole thing is together. I have to add everything at the same time because that is what we, that's what we make. So NH3 is together. I can only add N with three H's here like that. I can't just add one N. And now I have more NH3. So I have two ends, but now I have one, two, three, four, five, six H's. So now my H's are not balanced. I have a lot more H's over here than I do over here. So I'm going to take, and now that tells me that I need more H's on this side. So H's, I'm going to add some more H's. Remember, I can't add H's by itself. I have to add H's together. So now I have four. Well, I can go one more because I know I need six. So I add more H's like that. And now I see that I have six H's. So I have six right here. And now these are even. So once we are evened, we can take and look at how many groups of bubbles we have and add our coefficients. So N2. Because there's one group, I'm going to put a 1 here. Here I have three groups. So this one here, this one here, and this one here. So I'm going to add a 3 here. Here I have two groups of NH3. So 2 here. And this is what we call a balanced chemical equation because I've started with 2 and 6 of these. I have 2 and 6 of these, so I'm not losing or gaining matter. Whatever I have here, I'm just rearranging it and forming this over here. Okay. I'm going to do one more that shows one of the ones that are on the, the handout. So this one here is Al203. I'm going to make, so I have Al as aluminum. O2 is together, that's oxygen, that's what we breathe in. So I have two O's stuck together. And then this group right here is two O's and three, two AL's and three O's. So 
AL, and then all together. Okay, so now I have my atom count. AL is two, O is three. Here on this side, I have AL is one, O is two up here. So what do we do first? Well, we can do either one. I normally say if we have AL by itself, then leave that at the end because this is a little easier to balance because it's all by itself. You don't have to worry about pairs of them. Also, if I see that there's two of these and three of these, I know that if I have an odd and even number, it's going to have to be a least common multiple situation. And so I got to make them both even. They can't both one odd and one even. I have to both be even. So I can kind of see that, well, I'm going to need more of these for sure. I'm going to have to double this. So let's double this right now. And I'm going to make AL another whole set. Okay, remember, I can't just add a singular O. I can't just do this and add one O there. I can't do that. I have to add the whole thing. So I can't even it out just by adding one. I have to add the whole thing. So now I have four ALs and six O's. Well, now I'll come back to this side here. I have six O's. How am I going to deal with that? I can add a pair of O's here. Well, that's four. I can add another pair of O's, and that gives me six. So now this is up to six. My ALs, this, so you can see here, I can just add singular ALs. So AL, AL, AL. And now I'm up to four of these. Now this is balanced. Okay, so I have even numbers on both sides. All my atoms are conserved. I haven't created or destroyed anything. And now I have, now I'm gonna start grouping them. So I have four of these, so four of these. I have one, two, three of these. Remember the pairs, they have to be what's in the bubble. And so I have three groups of these, so now three of these. And then these two here, the whole thing in the bubble, so two of these. So that is how we balance chemical equations. And uh, good luck with balancing the rest of them.